Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into Cosmic, which is sort of a web browser, but is is also a whiteboarding tool. I I tend to call it like a modern web browser, a web browser that does much more than just allow you to search things and use the internet. Uh, and in today's video, I wanted to show you how I would personally uh, use this. I've done a few videos on Cosmic before, but I haven't actually ever showed how I would personally use this, which um, may help you get an understanding of how an application like this could be used, because it is very different from a lot of the other uh, applications I regularly test out. It feels like a blend between something like a Figma, Milanote, and a web browser. It is a place to create mood boards. You can't design in there, but uh, let's say you uh, had to design something or you had to uh, like write a report or a research paper, you wouldn't actually do uh, the do the reporting or the research paper inside of Cosmic, but uh, what you would use Cosmic for is probably the uh, step beforehand. So let's actually jump into the application. So it is currently updating. I haven't used this a lot and I don't actually plan on using the application that much, but I have like some specific use cases I have tested it for, especially at work. But let's go ahead and just create a new universe. So universes are your whiteboards. You can rename this. So I would probably rename this uh, a name of my project. So let's just call this project one. And of course, the way you use these applications or this application depends heavily on what you actually want out of it. But in my case, I do a lot of design work, which means that I need Pinterest. So I would open up Pinterest uh, and I would go into Pinterest. Uh, I won't uh, probably have to log in first. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are inside of uh, Pinterest and I actually don't use this as much as I uh, probably should, but uh, I would open this up and I would go ahead and I would uh, make this full size. You can also go back and uh, make this smaller. So I would do that uh, at some point. But first, when I'm just trying to get an overview, I would just go into the full size here. I would then uh, go back and I would start capturing things. And you can see that uh, when I hover over the thing I want to capture, it actually uh, just captures it like this. So I can just click on it and I would capture everything that looked interesting. So let's say, this color palette here as well is something I want for the design. Um, this is actually a, a nice image right here. This this one is actually something I might need. Um, you could also uh, put uh, do like this and just put the whole Pinterest website here. I wouldn't do that. So you can click this, which just gives you the Pinterest uh, website here. Uh, I of course, don't need that. Uh, let's do a couple more. Let's do this one as well. So click on the button right here and go ahead and pick it. Um, one thing I would like is the uh, ability to easily drag this. I haven't been able to do that easily. Drag this web uh, browser here somewhere else so I can also put things uh, behind it. Uh, that isn't something I figured out yet, but there is uh, another way of doing it, which is just scrolling back and forward, but small things. And this application is currently in beta, so uh, it isn't perfect, uh, but it is actually currently free. Um, and they are planning to come out with a, a pro plan uh, and also a free plan. Uh, so this is how I would do it. I would probably have a few files I would add as well. Uh, so. Uh, doing this, going into my downloads folder. Let's just add this uh, and just add it right here. Let's hold shift uh, to um, to not end up like this. So if you are used to whiteboarding tools or any design application, this feels really intuitive. I actually didn't know about the shift thing because I haven't resized the uh, things. Um, inside of this application. As I said, I haven't used it 
a lot, uh, but I just figured out that holding shift would do uh, this. I can go ahead and download it. I can replace it. I can also press this light right here, which gives me a uh, description. Uh, this is, of course, AI. If you're if you're used to uh, AI, um, or if you're used to the productivity and PKM and note-taking um, applications, everyone now has AI. So this generates a few tags. It isn't right about this, so it is right about um, mem and Todoist, but not about tick tick. But I think this is quite impressive, being able to uh, guess uh, just based on the logos right here. Uh, so uh, it also generates a few tags for me. Uh, so let's go back in here. Uh, and I would probably add a few more things. Let's add some sticky notes uh, here. S sticky notes. And let's also add a rectangle shape. So you can go ahead and you can uh, add as much as you want. I would probably not be using the rectangular shape. I can also change the lines of this uh, or the outline. Uh, and again, I can also get tags here. But let's go ahead and let's... Uh, add a few things so I would say color palette um, so I could do it like this I still can't spell I'm not sure if I spelled it right but uh, let's just go ahead and do that uh, let's put this here let's move things around a little bit uh, this application also has uh, some sort of auto tagging so I will or auto organizing, which is something I know a lot of people uh, would uh, or a lot of people want inside of their application. So here it works a little bit like a frame. I can go ahead and I can create a star shape. I can also add text and that is exactly what I'm going to do here. So this will be uh, color palette ideas, color palette ideas um, and I can put this here so you have a lot of uh, customization here um, if you wanted to so let's turn this blue and let's turn this off here you have that one let's actually center this uh, like this so um, as you can see I have a little bit of text. I can change the size of this text and then I will have to resize the whole box like this. Let's go ahead and remove this. One thing I would like to see inside of this application is sort of like a layer system because you can stack things on top of each other. Uh, so let's just zoom out a little bit. Since I can stack things on top of each other, I would like to be able to click what's underneath this uh, square um, but I haven't found a good way of doing that as I said this is just me showing how I would use the application I don't use it as much uh, I can go ahead and I can mark and just move everything if I wanted to I can right click it and get uh, a couple of different options I can delete everything I can go ahead and I can click this right here which organizes everything for me so I don't have to do that myself unless I want a really specific way of organizing this is great like starting by doing this uh, is great so Capturing everything uh, you need. Let's go ahead and go back here. Capturing everything you need, marking it, and then go ahead, right click, and organize it like this. And then I could change things up a little. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. Um, also, uh, I am on an older version, as I said early in the video, that. Uh, I need to update the application so I will probably have more bugs than you will um, just keep that in mind but basically this is how I would use the application you can also um, you could also just have the web browser stay here all the time so I can open this back up and just use this as I go um, so basically a web browser and a lot more uh, whiteboarding tool some would call it a note-taking app as well uh, it 
isn't I wouldn't say that it has great note-taking abilities. I haven't actually tested a lot of the note-taking inside of here, so let's just quickly do that as well. Create a sticky note. Does it work with Markdown? It doesn't. That was what I guessed, because it isn't supposed to be a note-taking app. Uh, but my guess is that you would probably be able to make it work as some sort of uh, note-taking system. It wouldn't be the best, but my guess is that you would be able to make it work. So this is just me quickly showing how uh, I would use the application. As I said, I haven't used it extensively. I have tried it out for a few projects and that is probably how I am going to use it. I am going to use it for uh, some of my projects, but it is an application I am interested in just keeping, uh, continuing to keep an eye on because I think the use case and the overall application is just it just looks so interesting uh, and it has a lot of cool things going for it. So I am really interested in continuing to play around with this application. I think it deserves uh, to, uh, deserves to, uh, it deserves a chance is what I was trying to say. Uh, but that covers it for today's video. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you want an in-depth tutorial on uh, Cosmic, please do comment it down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. I will, of course, have to learn the application first, but uh, I am willing to learn the application to create a tutorial if someone wants a tutorial. So please do comment it down below and I hope to see you again quite soon.